What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. This is the My First Paint Job series and we're here in episode two with Adam's Corvette. And today we're gonna start to take apart the front end. Don't overthink it, it's just paint. And thanks for joining me again on this episode. On the last episode, if you missed it in episode one, we brought Adam's Corvette in and we took a look at all of the damage on the paint. We looked at what needed attention, where there was areas where it was cracked paint, cracked fiberglass, checked out the right fender and we noticed that that will need to be completely torn off all of the wrap and redone. And we saw that we really have a good, good body for all of our body work to start. So in this episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear down the whole entire front end. We're gonna see if we have any hidden damage. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the parts once they're off the car and see what kind of work they're going to need. Now, as we read the comments on the first episode, a lot of you guys were complaining about these headlights and trust me, Adam doesn't like them any more than you, so this is where we need some of your help. Currently, we might still have the driver's side, we're gonna have to go ahead and check, but the passenger side over here, when it was hit in the accident, since they're so expensive and it was fixed by the owner at the time, we went ahead and just got some cheap lights. So we're looking to see if we can get this replaced. If you guys know any websites or maybe you even have one lying in your actual garage, let us know. We're also curious to know where are some good parts uh, stores to get various inventory for this car. For instance, we're looking along the car and we're seeing that certain parts might need to be replaced from the seals to even maybe the cowl and different areas like that. So let us know in the comments, where's the best place to buy parts for this Corvette C5. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with the hood and we're gonna disassemble the hood. We'll move on to the fenders and the bumper, the headlights and get it completely taken off the car. All right, so we figured out the easiest way is to remove it from the bracket here instead of over in this area. So we went ahead and removed the shock first and I'll go and get this lower one. Now I'll go ahead and remove the top one. I'll hold it and then I'll pass the wrench to Adam. Wonder if it's easier to get up here. Go ahead and take our hood and put it on our stand. Just like that, it's ready. We're going to go ahead and put all our bolts back in so we don't lose them. So when it comes time to reinstall, we're good to go. So uh, well, before we take the headlights off, it's looking like we'll be able to take possibly the fenders off uh, and the bumper and then remove the headlights. So the uh, fender has um, some sort of Torx, uh, or Torx uh, screws. So we'll remove that and then we'll see maybe there's one or two under there and we'll remove it together. So on this side, we only got one screw holding it in and one back over here and the last one towards the front so we got the bolts off on the top and there was a couple on the bottom and now uh, on this side there was a bolt put in very lightly so we were able to remove it so it should come off right now now this is the side that was originally hit and i think that's an aftermarket fender uh you can see here it's the gel coat used to be on here and it's already down to i guess that would be smc you guys can correct me if i'm wrong someone mentioned in the last uh, video that this car is smc um but anyways i i think it was hit in this area and it still looks pretty good i don't see any really bad damage uh to speak of a little maybe cracking right here, which we can fix. But um, I think we'll go ahead and try to remove the bumper now. Uh, since this is pretty original, this isn't, hasn't been tampered with. It looks like all the bolts and screws is where they need to be. And uh, so far we don't have any issues. Everything's looking pretty good.
All right, so we got the front bumper off, the fender off. This fender has definitely never been taken off before because it was 10 times harder because all the screws were there. So there was a screw up inside the fender liner. Of course, all the screws on the top. Uh, and there's one on the bottom of the fender, which we found some damage, a cracked fender at the bottom. So we'll be able to show you how to fix that. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up taking off these headlights. Now again, these headlights, we want to take them off for the last time, so you guys have to help us try to find affordable pop-up headlights with uh, all the housings and everything it needs, all the brackets and mechanics. Again, we're gonna go ahead and check to see what we have, but uh, we definitely like to put back the factory ones for, for ourselves and definitely for you guys. So this one seems to be just some screws underneath. So we'll remove these and uh, we'll continue with the fenders. Just like that, we got everything completely taken apart. Now that passenger side fender, 100 times easier to take it off because not all the bolts or screws were there. But we did notice that this whole fender liner, not sure exactly what you would call this because it's a part of the engine bay. It is cracked here. And this is where two of the mounting screws would have gone. So my assumption is this is all a part of here. So we're gonna probably be looking for a replacement part. If they do have this as a replacement part, let us know. We would love to pick up another one. Otherwise, we're going to do some sort of fiberglass uh, repair or some epoxy, but we would like to uh, replace it. You saw that there are air horns here. Uh, well, they are coming off, but don't forget this is a South Florida car, so sometimes they are needed. We're moving along to the front bumper. Everything came off pretty good. There was a couple uh, plastic retainer clips behind a license plate that we figured out will come out and then the bumper released over on this side everything looks really tidy you can see the speed clips are still here this fender liner looks really sturdy and there was one bolt that was a little bit hard to get to right in here so if you guys have any tips or tricks when we go to put it back on how to reach in there to get that one that one was pretty tough let's go ahead and take a look at some of the parts so looking at the parts over here, the bumper looks really good. There was a couple of scrapes on the bottom side, not too big of a deal. Um, over here where the retainers are, you can see they're broken, but we have some plastic repair adhesive that we can use and we can build this whole entire retainer area back to the way it was. So we'll show you that in some upcoming videos. As far as the hood is concerned, just what we expected when it was on the car, nothing more, nothing less. So a full re-sand of the hood, and we'll do a full priming of the hood as well. Now, over on this fender is an aftermarket fender. So we're gonna have to pull off that whole entire, uh, the whole entire wrap here. And once we pull it off, we'll have to assess what kind of finish we have. I can already see in some areas it's a little bit porous. Over here on this fender, um, the story goes that a dog hit it. The dog did survive. But the fender, well, you can see it's cracked all up in this area. So we'll have to do a repair on that as well. So as far as we're concerned right now, we made a lot of progress. We got the whole front end of the vehicle disassembled. I think what we'll see in the coming videos is we'll work our way towards the back. A lot of you guys did say that the quarter panels can be removed. And we actually went on YouTube and checked it out. And we saw that the quarter panels, um, they have some uh, screws in here and then some in the fender liners. And when we remove the bumper, I think it would make it that much easier to remove the quarter panels 
as well. So with that said, this is going to include part two, episode two on my first paint job. Remember, my first paint job is a series for you guys at home. If it's your first paint job, these are the steps that you're going to need to take to be able to take apart your car, sand it, prep it, prime it, all in your home garage. So I appreciate you coming and sticking with us on this episode. In this next episode, what we're gonna do is we'll get the rear disassembled and we're gonna go ahead and start some minor work on the paint, start to prepare it, taking off that wrap and moving forward. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. We'll see you guys on the next one.